Hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Kasanga Johnson and this is Tutorials by Kasanga. So the last time uh, we did how uh, we, we made a squeeze back on Adobe Premiere Pro and we also did it on Adobe After Effects and today I want us to make a squeeze back using Vimix Pro. Now the difference between Adobe After Effects uh, with Premiere Pro uh, compared to Vimix is that Vimix is a live mixing software. So here we'll be making squeeze backs live. So let us just refresh on what we did. Uh, this is a clip that uh, we did and then let me just click play. City, the Republic of Kenya, with its highest point at 2,400. So this is what we, are, we want to achieve and it needs to be a smooth transition from full screen uh, to this other part with the details uh, on this end. Uh, let me finish the play. 16 meters above the sea level, which is an equivalent of 2.46 kilometers. It slopes down at an amazing one foot. So that's the easiest way to, to make Now that's what we want to achieve. Now, there's what people do. Let me just uh, click here. 2.46. Now, there's what people do, uh, which is a... Uh, and professional you just come to the clip the to the image that you want to use for your squeeze back um, this one doesn't have an offer channel but what people do they just you know click uh, an overlay and this black part they use it as an alpha channel but which uh, this one doesn't work very well it doesn't work very well let me try to see if we can make the channel alpha in that manner so people try to do this it doesn't work it's not good so how do we do it this is what we call uh the multi view the multi view so uh, you, you come and uh select the image that you want to use for your skills back purposes like for me i'm going to use this image uh for max auto visuals this is the one that this is the same same one that we used last time so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this icon here for the settings icon then i'll come to multi view i'll come to multi view what i'll do i'll reserve section one for this image i'll reserve section one for this image and uh, i won't touch it so I'll just come and use two two i'll come and select the video that i want to use for a squeeze back i'll come to the position settings then i'll play around with its settings uh the scale uh uh here on refer to the zoom the positioning let me just increase the scale a bit okay let me pan it slightly slightly um the other axis slightly good now that's what we have as you can see now this is the image that you're going to achieve during the squeeze back and this is the original image so what do we do to make the transition seem seamless now remember this you can use it at any point of the footage now uh, allow me to mute this audio now as the audio plays uh let's say it's starting from there now there are a lot of options i can use cut just cut once and you can see the, the video is uh the whole video is there but the best one to use is march now let us see what happens when we use merge. of the Republic of Kenya. You see, it assumes that same same effect that we did using Premiere Pro and After Effects. And when I use merge again, An amazing 1, meters to the now that is what we wanted to achieve. The based on how long you want it to run for that it is at your own discretion but the easiest way to use is using the merge function the merge function and the multi view now thank you for your time uh, remember uh, I have a full version of vmix pro I'll leave the link on the description if you want a full version of the vmix pro kindly get in touch with me and i'll see how you can get one at a subsidized figure god bless see you next time